Moving on quickly from that, I wanted to quickly mention and talk about Hoa Berlin. Just as another analysis of things I've been checking online. Obviously, since the whole um, tragic events that have transpired over there in Gaza, the ongoing conflict there between Gaza and Israel has been really heartbreaking to watch. But some of the some of the fucking consequences of that have been very interesting when it comes to dance music because I wasn't aware of just how many people from Israel are involved in different parts of dance music when it comes to the infrastructure and streaming platforms, whatever it may be. And one of them being Hor Berlin. I think the two founders are from Israel. They may have served in the Israel army back in the day, which again, isn't that bad of a thing because if I'm not mistaken, um, you have to, it's kind of compulsory to be um, within, to, you know, to, to uh, what you call it, to enlist in the Israel army, the IDF at some point. But since everything's been happening in Gaza and the tragedy has been happening over there and the genocide and the scores of people have been, you know, um, they've been taken hostage and murdered and kids and whatnot, people have been looking at platforms at whore and wanting a stronger response for them online. They've decided to be a bit neutral. They came out with a weird statement. Then they came out with this weird email. And it just seems like they haven't been able to say the right thing to appease the fans. And for the most part, it seems like the majority of techno Twitter or techno social media has basically cancelled Hall Berlin. They're kind of on timeout, it feels like. And I just checked their YouTube recently. And it does feel that way. There's not a lot of mixes on there. Um, if you look on the live page, because I think they, they upload videos, you know, obviously of the of the live stream mixes they do. And there's not many recent ones. The last one that he had recent was a DJ called Hayden who played two days ago. Um, and then before that is Crisco two days ago. Another one three days ago, four days ago. There's big gaps. And if you scroll to, you know, and if you know anything about Hall Berlin, they were streaming effectively 10 hours or eight hours a day you know six hours fix six days per week they will consistently have new streams on there all the time so it feels like people have maybe boycotted um whore as a platform and they're not maybe sharing or pushing out as many mixes as they did in the past even the ones that have been pre-recorded and the last one uploaded the pre-recorded mix was 11 days ago so clearly there's been i feel like a a timeout for a lot of people on there, which is which is sad really to see because um when I first stumbled upon Hall, that was during the pandemic, they were really cool because it provided like some respite and relief from people like myself who are obsessed with techno and dub and clubbing and whatnot to actually have the ability to maybe see DJs play, have a bit of a skank in your own living room and whatnot, get on it and whatever and keep it moving. Um, and obviously as well one of the good things that they did was that when it first started anyway it felt like they were given a platform and opportunity to just about everybody that was connected with the dance music scene over there in Berlin so you got to see some people who you probably would have never heard of from that scene kind of go through their you know their initial stages of maybe blowing up like I'm, one I can think of that is that guy called um, M4A something I forgot how you say his name and um, Patrick Mason was another one that I saw blow up on here and a few other DJs you see them kind of blow up in fucking real time which is really really cool to see and also you got to see a lot of the heads a lot of the insider people you probably would have never seen um, i think i even stumbled across multi-sex djs via maybe whore and a few other people so they did a really good job in terms of um platforming and highlighting and giving a pla you know and shining a light on people who maybe wouldn't have had that light um because they maybe weren't boiler room level quality just yet or notoriety or fame but they still were really really good level because you'd imagine you know a place like berlin with it being the mecca and the home of you know dance music and clubbing and shit you know the the average level of djs over there is probably really high because there's so many people in there involved in dance music you know you'd imagine there's so much un untapped talent there but unfortunately it looks like whore is on the wane so i don't know what's going to happen to fix it i don't know if they need to put out another statement but again it looks like it's really really low in terms of new uploads i guess for someone like myself an upcoming dj who wants to kind of get his foot in the industry maybe it's the perfect time to go and reach out to them to get you know an opportunity to do a mix for them i'm sure their calendar is a lot more free than it was prior but i'm not gonna lie as a punter just looking on the outside it's kind of sad to see you know they were doing great things and now you know for 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 you know for things that are not really their own fault you know because you know the the war broke out and you know that's not something that they could be blamed for but even their reaction maybe is not something they could be blamed for either because if you're actually israeli you probably have conflicting opinions about what's happening over there in gaza um you probably have different opinions about how your country's um you know 
do going about things over there so maybe you have a right to say what you want to say but unfortunately with the majority of i feel like dance music community being more so on the side of the oppressor of the of the of the group of people who are being oppressed and not the oppressor you're always going to look a bit funny if you are um coming out with those weird statements but i think personally the thing that probably killed them the most was when those people those djs came out and basically said um that whole were telling them that they couldn't wear certain items that were, you know, basically, um, you know, in favor of protesting against the war or basically, you know, siding more with Palestine. That was what I think kind of fucked them the most. Do you know what I mean? Because then you are censoring people. You're actively trying to censor people and telling them they can't wear certain items. And again, there is a, there is some sympathy I have there because if you're actually Israeli, I can understand why you would have liked to see somebody with a t-shirt that has some sort of iconography on it that maybe is insulting to your country. I get it. But considering how sensitive and tight everything is, it seems that they really shot themselves in the foot. And now it looks like it's quiet for them on there. It's absolutely quiet for them. There's nothing new on there. It's not being updated as much as it was. And again, maybe it's maybe it's more to do with this time of the season, time of the year, sorry. Maybe things are winding down a bit heading into Christmas, but it looks like there's not many new mixes that have been put out there I have seen a few DJs on my side of techno social media that have been saying that they've been contacting the whore directly and telling them to take their mixes down. So it's clearly they're doing this, you know, it's clear there's been a concerted effort with some people to kind of, you know, step back from whore as a platform. So it's sad to see them not be where they once were, but I guess it's the name of the game and most likely they'll end up being another platform popping out that'll probably take their space and occupy that space from now on. But let's see how it transpires. We'll love to see how this transpires.